Glory was bestowed upon the North African football giants, Algeria in 2019. The Greens came out on top in that year's African Cup of Nations, a hot and humid tournament as it was the first time the games were played in the summer season. Teams like Nigeria, Senegal, Morocco, Tunisia, and Egypt just finished representing Africa in the 2018 World Cup in Russia. All eyes were on one of these teams to win the coveted African title. But from the northern part of the continent came a team that outfoxed everyone to snatch the title, despite being given little chance to do so. Algeria was once a powerful football team on the African continent. In 1980, they reached the final of the African Nations Cup before losing to Nigeria. In 1982, they represented Africa at the FIFA World Cup in Spain, beating Germany and almost qualifying for the second round before Germany and Austria conspired to fix their match and force Algeria out of the tournament. At the turn of the decade, Algeria won the African Nations Cup on home soil in Algiers, enacting revenge on the Super Eagles of Nigeria 10 years after losing to them in the 1980 AFCON final in Lagos. The 1990 Algerian team was solid, boasting the likes of Rabah Majed, Jamel Menard, Sharif Ujani, and Jamel Imani. The team was a terror to most of its opponents, beating Nigeria 5-1 in its opening game before going on to score another eight goals on its way to lifting the trophy. After winning the nation's cup, many expected Algeria to go on and dominate African football, but what happened was a series of disappointing outings at various tournaments. Many blame the social and political unrest in the early 90s as the catalyst for the team's failures. Delhi Civil War affected every domain in Algeria, including football. Although Algeria qualified for the 1992 African Cup of Nations, as defending champions, they were disappointing and were eliminated in the first round of competition. For over two decades, from 1992 to 2017, Algeria failed to make it past the quarterfinal stage of every Nations Cup they participated in. The only brilliant moment they had was reaching the second round of the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil, when the team surprisingly made it to the second round of the World Cup before losing narrowly 2-1 against Germany. By 2017, Algerian football had gone into another steep decline. They failed to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, finishing at the bottom of their group, winning none of their matches and losing four matches and only drawing two. Things were so bad that they replaced their coach before the last match. They ended up appointing former Algerian international Rabah Majed. But that itself didn't last, as they let him go after winning two out of seven games. On August 2nd, 2018, the Algerian Football Association appointed French-born Algerian Jamel Belmadi as manager of the Algeria national team. Belmadi would later lead Algeria to qualify for the African Nations Cup of 2019. But the Algerian team was not considered a serious contender for the trophy due to a less than spectacular performance at the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. The unimpressive qualification campaign increased the pressure of Belmadi as Algeria had not won any medals since the African Nations Cup on home soil in 1990. Algeria kicked off their African Nations campaign against Kenya, where they defeated convincingly 2-0. In their next matches in the group, they defeated Senegal and Tanzania 1-0 and 3-0. They topped their group with nine points and scored six goals without conceding any. In their second round game, goals by Beleli, Mares, and Unas secured a 3-0 win against the Silly Stars of Guinea. At this point, Algeria was beginning to attract more attention to itself through its superb performance, and many were seeing a clear path to the trophy, but with teams such as the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Elephants of Ivory Coast, they would have their work cut out for them. In their quarterfinal match against Ivory Coast, the Ivorians proved to be their toughest opponents yet. Algeria took the lead through Feguli until Kodija equalized for the Elephants. Regulation would end in a 1-1 draw and an extra time stalemate meant the match would be decided in penalties. A nail-biting finish saw Algeria scrape through 4-3 after 10 spot kicks. 
In the semifinal, Algeria will play one of the best teams on the African continent, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Nigeria has gone behind with an own goal by Super Eagles captain William Trostico before a 72nd minute penalty by Odion Igalo leveled things up. With the game headed towards the 90th minute, many were beginning to believe that the match was heading to extra time until a superb free kick by Riyad Mahrez sent Algeria into the final. The victory sent the nation of Algeria into a wide celebration. The team had defied all odds to reach the final of a tournament that no one gave them a chance to win. In the final, Algeria needed only the slimmest of victory to win the tournament for the second time in their history. Ironically, it would take an own goal by Senegal to hand Algeria a victory in a final match that many described as boring. The 19 year wait for the most coveted crown in African football was over and the Desert Foxes were once again the champions of Africa. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below for more top 10s, documentaries, and exclusive interviews.